So thank you very much. I'm, I didn't have a lot of time to put all my notes together, to be very honest. So I'm going to try to, to uh, give some highlights of the very rich discussion we had. Um, so, um, and, and I will ask if there is anything to be a, a complement, complement, uh, more addition to be made by uh, Robert or Morgan, please feel free to add. Uh, so we started with a presentation on the CSP. Um, and how it will uh, work in selecting countries and the four countries that first going to be selected then after extended to eight. Um, and, uh, and, um, and with the role of the CSP in, uh, in, in providing support to country, uh, to, the, to the NCP, and um, how they will work, uh, the, country pro the, the CSP program manager will work with national counterparts and to build a country dynamic uh, and momentum around cholera control and and um, and to end uh, an elimination and uh, and thirdly with uh, the role of the CSP program manager and its uh, national counterpart in in having uh, uh, bringing all together uh, bringing partners together and the convening role of the of the of the of the, of the CSP uh, program manager um, we ask several questions. Uh, several questions were asked. I think many others were answered. And I'm not sure we answered the questions at the beginning, but I think it was very dynamic and vibrant discussion. So I'm anticipating that this is the very beginning of, uh, of uh, the framing of uh, what's going to be the CSP coordination and mechanism at country level. Uh, the, the discussion narrowed down to two main points. The first one is on how to select countries. And, uh, and the second one is uh, on uh, how, um, uh, how to position or how to leverage or, or country coordination mechanism in place in each country for, uh, for the role of this uh, program uh, manager. We received a lot of uh, country experience that were shared. It started with Kenya, but then we had Zambia, Nigeria, Bangladesh, Kenya, Zanzibar, Zimbabwe, Yemen. I might have missed some, but just to say that um, and we also had some focus and experience shared about uh, uh, the specific uh, humanitarian settings and the nexus with the development. So uh, one of the key message here, so I'm not going to go into the detail of each feedback, of course, but it's that there is a lot, a lot of uh, uh, appetite to share experience. And, uh, and the CSP and the GTFCC will, uh, Secretariat will probably have a role to look at how uh, these lessons can be shared between countries and probably maybe on how to support or organize peer-to-peer -peer support or country technical assistance so um, there can be some more um, uh, direct technical assistance and supports provided by, by the in-country experts. Um, the other point, of, so the key takeaway on the discussion that I had and there were many, so I will miss some. So it's uh, apologies for the summarizing key points in uh, one hour and a half of discussion in, in, in three or four points. But um, one is that came systematically in all country feedback is the importance to have the coordination at a very high level in the government uh, beyond the Ministry of Health and, uh, and uh, with powers to the coordination to convening powers um, of, uh, of, uh, of the coordination and the program manager and its counterpart to uh, facilitate the multi-sectorial response with a focus on how to bring together these two best friends of the WASH and, uh, and the health uh, uh, partners in countries and, and, gov and ministers in countries. The second point I want that came very strongly is the country commitment. So there, it was said more, in, there was multiple discussion that I had to summarize because you had this, the chat box discussion and the, the live discussion, but so coming strongly in the, live, in the chat box, but confirmed as well during the, the, the discussion is um, the importance to prioritize countries and select countries based on the country commitment, um, which can be identified through the one that I've already NCP, NC, is uh, already uh, planned, already validated by the and reviewed, peer reviewed by the TTFCC, or are committed to the development of the plan. Uh, but also looking at how the a country uh, request could be made, uh, 
uh, by the government. So it is a, a support that is already engaged at the higher level. Uh, then there was uh, another discussion um, with no uh, clear answer on this, but uh, how do you balance the quick wins versus uh, the fact that uh, you want to make a difference? If we select countries where everything goes well, we, that will work well, but I'm not sure there is an additional value. But in the other hand, uh, that's uh, countries that are uh, uh, facing a lot of challenges, uh, more a program manager might not be sufficient just to solve problem and there is need to go the program manager and one person will not be a solution on itself. It came very strongly. Uh, what are the additional resources that will be put in place to support this, uh, this, accord, this country support? Um, if there is a secretariat, if there is a budget, how does it leverage existing uh, uh, country support mechanism in place? Uh, et cetera, et cetera. And the final point I want to raise, I know there was many others, but the final point raised during the discussion that I want to highlight is how do you, um, how the, the, the CSP mechanism will build on, uh, on uh, existing uh, regional or strategies and uh, like there is uh, the Afro uh, strategy, African strategy for cholera, which is uh, uh, an implementation uh, um, uh, uh, plan for the, G the, global, the GTFCC roadmap and how we build on this and leverage this to, to prioritize select countries and, and, uh, and uh, advance and, and leverage regional coordination, the, the, the cholera platform, uh, the regional cholera platform was also uh, mentioned and how to make sure that the CSP contribute and create synergies between all these uh, existing supports. And, uh, and voila, I think that's all the point I managed to summarize in the 10 minutes between now and uh, the session. But uh, Morgan or Robert, is there anything I should you want to add and complement? No, indeed, I think no. I think you've covered it very well. Uh, I would just reiterate uh, this linkage between country level and regional or sub-regional level uh, when it came out. Uh, the use of the expert pool or, or specific technical expertise, is that available for all countries or just the target countries? I think it's probably the former, but that's something we need to discuss more with GTFCC. Um, uh, and uh, uh, yes, on, on the cr different criteria for selecting countries that are in greatest need, as opposed to those that are well advanced. Um, those are the main points from the ICOT as well. Thank you. Morgan? <laughs> 